you doing here? I thought you'd gone. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I forgot my car keys. It will be on your right. But watch your steps. else you've forgotten? No. I just enjoy your playing. That's all. Well, thank you. Just uh, improvising and fooling around. We start 8 o'clock sharp tomorrow. Got a lot to attend to before we leave for Rome. Certainly. Anyway, I have to be here for the movers. Movers? Yes, for the piano. You wanted me to put it back in storage. I did? Oh, well, I'll leave it there till I'm gone. No point in disrupting the whole morning? Certainly, sir. You have three steps back and a ten foot limit. A gracious good morning to you, sir. Oh, you're being a bit more lavish than usual. And you're being more chipper than usual. <laughs> Is uh, Miss Prevay in here? Half an hour ago, sir. No, send her up, would you please? Inspector Mete on line one, sir. Miss Prevay, good morning. How are you today? Oh, fine, thank you. Um, <clears throat> the call seems rather urgent. I think there's a crisis. Yes. I'm not surprised. With Monsieur Mete, there always is. Inspector, what can I do for you? I'm afraid I've got distressing news, Monsieur Reddington. Ah, and what might that be? The Vronsky jewel collection was stolen last night. My God. How? How? Who is even more to the point? We have every reason to suspect that the thief is on your payroll.
shot. There's a bomb on the bus. More often. Ooh, uh, every day on Lone Star Cinema. If you knew, what would you do? Millions of vulnerable children like Munda Saranji are fighting to survive. If you knew you could make a difference for one of them, would you? Call now or go to worldvision.ca and sponsor a boy or girl who needs your help. We'll send you a photo and story about the child whose life and future you're about to change. All it takes is about a dollar a day to help see that they have things like health care, clean, safe drinking water, access to an education, plus the compassionate care of World Vision staff. Right now, thousands of children are waiting for sponsors. One of them is waiting for you. <laughs> Now that you know, please call or go online. Be an answer to a child's prayer. Don't know Jack about your credit? Stop clowning around. Log on to transunion.ca and get your credit report and credit score. TransUnion. Manage your credit, manage your life. This whole thing is utterly preposterous, Inspector. There is no way she could have taken those jewels. Monsieur Reddington, there is not a doubt in my mind Nicole Beaumont did it. Look here. The Nikki Beaumont we all knew doesn't exist anymore. She is now la Comtesse de Chevalier. She no longer works for me. That's right, Matei. She's rich, she's married, and she's reformed. Thieves and con men never reform, Sinclair. You should know that. Just what the hell makes you so sure she did it? Oh, this has her signature all over it. Everything points to her. I can feel it. <laughs> Since when have the surete relied on feelings? Come on, Sinclair. You know it when you come face to face with a great one. In her prime, Nicole Beaumont was a genius. You know her M.O. She was one of the first cases we worked on. Oh, yes. I remember it well. Mademoiselle Beaumont? Oui? Peter Sinclair, Scotland Yard. I'm working with the French police. I have some questions I need to ask you. I see Scotland Yard is getting better and better at picking its men. How can I help you? I'm very interested in some Matisse paintings. Matisse? I love him. The colors, the urgency of Fauvism. Stolen Matisse paintings, mademoiselle. Do you mind? I'm very sensitive. Now, what about these paintings? 
Don't play games, mademoiselle. Oh, I think you love games, Mr. Sackler. Six Matisse paintings were stolen from the Museum of Modern Art mm. six days ago. Mm. I have no time for games. Well, maybe you have time for dinner then. I really must work on my tan right now. It's a pity. I thought you were going to cooperate. But then if you don't, I am prepared to go another way. I didn't say I wouldn't cooperate. But six days ago, I was 30 miles offshore. Yes, I know. On board a yacht with a certain gentleman. Unfortunately, nobody else saw you on board. Mm. It was in a gentleman's best interests. Well, it's in your best interest to cooperate. Or else your sun tanning days will be severely curtailed. What connects me to the paintings? This. What is it? A piece of rope I found on the roof of the museum. <laughs> Do you always go around picking up trash on roofs? From time to time. It's probably part of the rope that the burglar used to scale the walls. Interesting. And very athletic. See, the boys in the lab say the breaking strain of this particular rope is no more than 100 pounds. Mm. Too bad. I weigh 101. Before or after breakfast? Only one way to find out. Claire, you're not listening to me. I heard every word you said, Inspector. Came and went through the skylights, perfect replicas. Just like the Matisse job and the Winslow rubies and the Cartier diamonds and about a dozen oh, more. Come on, Inspector. It's pure conjecture, it's not evidence. Face it, Sinclair, everything adds up. Besides, the jewels were only exhibited once before. And Nicky. Yeah, Beaumont... I know. And Nicky Beaumont was on the guest list. Exactly. But let me remind you. The same jewels were featured in a magazine spread that anybody could have seen but a few months ago. The point is she would have gotten away with it if the museum's appraiser hadn't been delayed. Nathanson? He's one of my appraisers. I've never known him to be late. Well, the airport was fogged in, so he had to take the train from Amsterdam. Got here a day late. Otherwise, the theft would have gone unnoticed for weeks. Well, since you obviously have no more ties to Madame Beaumont, I'll go see her directly. Yes, wait a minute, Inspector. If you're so convinced she did it, you can't go on steaming about like that. You'll only put her on the alert. What do you suggest? Let me go and talk to her. Now, she may not work for us anymore, but she's still a friend. She still trusts us. Anyway, I'm convinced that she's innocent. We all are. If she's not, you'll be the second to know. Uh, third. Oh, all right, Sinclair. But 48 hours is all you get before we move in. You gotta be kidding me. You're going here for 10 days? Aren't they beautiful? They say the Caucasus Mountains are more challenging than the Swiss Alps. You're going in 20 below weather in Russia to see the what do you call it? Barnable snowman. Hmm. Your cousin, the Yeti. Yeah, my cousin and your sister. <laughs> Sounds like a great vacation. <laughs> Why, where are you going? Navy SEAL war games in the Everglades. Well, that's a good idea. We get you back in shape. The kind of shape you're talking about, I'm already in. Satellite link. I'm afraid you're going to have to postpone those vacations. Now, how did I know that was going to happen? Well, it's... Yeah. Oh, yes. Seems your predecessor, remember her? She's in a little bit of trouble. Now, Peter will fill you in. Nicky Beaumont? Exactly. Con artist. 
Cat burglar, expert jewel thief, retired to join the Counter-Strike team. Oh, which didn't exist. And still doesn't. And left to get married to a lot of money. Yeah, to a count who actually happens to have some. So what's the problem? Well, Miss Prevan will fax you the file. But I need you to be on standby the minute you land. And you? Well, I'm going to pay the Countess a visit. And then I'll call you. Damn. Now, how am I going to stay in shape? Push-ups. Alone. I'm here to see the Countess. I'm sorry, sir, but the Countess is unavailable for the moment. Has she gone out? She's unavailable. Would you like to leave her a message? No, I'll do one better than that. Police. I'll wait inside. It could take a while. Don't worry. I'm a very patient sort of guy. Peter. How nice to see you. You look stunning. Thank you. Married life obviously suits you. It really does. That's great. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. Keeping busy. And Alexander? <laughs> busy keeping us busy. <laughs> What are we standing for? I still think about what happened to Luke. Yeah. I miss him, too. I guess I miss all of it. Working together. The excitement. Even the danger. <laughs> I bet you do. You never could stand still for long. Would you like some coffee? No, thanks. I'm trying to give it up. You didn't come here to reminisce. What brings you here? It's about the Vronsky jewels. I see you're familiar with them. Name a woman that isn't. They were stolen last night. Why tell me? Perfect replicas were put in their place. There was no sign of forced entry. So that's why you're here. The police think you had a hand in it. And what do you think? Cat burglary at its finest. Certainly was your hallmark at one time in your life. Come on, Nikki. Got your M.O. written all over it. I don't care if it has my name in lights, Peter. have given me just 48 hours to prove that you didn't do it. And I'm giving you 48 seconds to get the hell out of here. Action. Adventure. Suspense. Every day on Lone Star Cinema. Don't know jack about your credit? Stop clowning around. Log on to transunion.ca and get your credit report and credit score. TransUnion. Manage your credit, manage your life. Oh, no. Can't find your phone in that cluttered handbag? Searching for those house keys again. Do you have to dig and dump to find what you're looking for? Then you need the over-the-shoulder expandable organizer from Buxton. Makers of fine leather goods since 1898. It's the biggest little bag ever that holds it all and keeps it organized so you find what you need in a flash. Crafted of supple, genuine leather, the Buxton Organizer has this outer pouch for your phone. You'll never miss a call again. Hello? Don't lug around a heavy tote. Watch as the Buxton Organizer turns this jumbled mess into an organized success. And it's expandable. Store two regular size water bottles and an umbrella. Amazing. 
With the Buxton Organizer, you're hands-free, making travel a breeze and shopping a pleasure. Look, a regular handbag can get stolen, but with Buxton Organizer's adjustable shoulder strap, it's always secure. There's a special wallet compartment for easy reach and handy slots for your credit cards. You'll be so organized, you can even find what you need with a blindfold. You could pay over $100 for a similar designer bag. Call now and get the Buxton Over-the-Shoulder Organizer in genuine leather for only $29.95. There's more. We'll also send you the digital message reminder, the compact recorder that records without tape. Butter, milk, eggs. Then reminds you later. Butter, milk, eggs. It's perfect for directions. At work, even the parking lot. Yours free. Just pay shipping and handling. And ask about the Buxton organizer in these fashion colors. Get the Buxton expandable organizer and the digital message reminder, all for only $29.95. Call now. Meet me at the corner of Avenue Foch and... I know where the Countess lives. <sighs> well, I want you to keep an eye on my favorite Countess and tell Stone to monitor her calls. Okay. What's up? Sounds like he's having doubts about her innocence. Oh, yeah? Here's the Countess' private number. You know what to do? You just happen to know the number? Photographic memory. What do you mean you don't have the jewels? We never thought they jumped the gun. You mean you were tricked by an old man and a girl? It's just a temporary setback, Mr. Godard. It better be. My client is all lined up and waiting. We'll get the jewels back, don't worry. My time is too valuable to waste it. Worry? I leave that to you. But if I don't, I have the jewels by tomorrow. We think they've gone south. We'll take care of it, Mr. Godard. I hope so. For your sakes. Allô, Sylvain? C'est moi. Is he back? Hi. Bye. I don't understand. I've called everywhere. Did he leave anything for me? I'll be there in a few hours. How was your trip down memory lane? Intriguing. I bet. What's new? I'll tell you in a minute. Well, did she or didn't she? Well, let's put it this way. She certainly doesn't need the money. Nice pad? Well, by your standards, palace. Mm-hmm. And what about the guy? What guy? The hubby. He wasn't home. Oh. Did you get a look at the police file? Yeah, a real slick heist. Hmm. Anything stand out? Well, the guy who made these fake jewels. I mean, he knows his business. You know, this is interesting. I think he worked with a couple of master forgers in her time, but only one jeweler. Died in 88. But I got a lock on a couple other guys. Always one step ahead, huh? Well, I try. You know, Inspector Mette may be onto something. What's that? Places your cat burglar called while you were gone. I'll be right back. Okay. Yes, Sinclair. Peter, your friend Nick is on the move. Now, let me guess. You're at the airport. How did you know? 
Ah, oh, she's been phoning the south of France all morning. She just bought a ticket, police. Mm. I was afraid to hear that. Don't worry. I'm three seats behind her. They're boarding. I've got to go. Yes, Miss Brown. I'm sending you up a list of phone numbers. Please trace the ones first in Nice, but get me locations on the lot, okay? Right away, Peter. Thanks. Bye. Got some news. Mm -hmm. Local capo hired an old pro to do the heist. The old pro was retired, reformed, my contact says. Mm, that's interesting. Do you got a name? No, but get this. The capo was real mad. Because he was double-crossed. You got it. Ah. And they moved the operation ahead 24 hours. Right. That's absolutely suicidal. You got it. OK, come on. Let's get out of here. Where? Oh, well, you said you wanted a vacation. Well, you're a sweet guy, Pete, but you're not really my type. <laughs> Thank God for that, huh? Yeah. Where? Nice. 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 Be headed. Look, Gabrielle, wait for us at the airport, will you? So long. Gabrielle! <sighs> What's up? She hung up. When will she ever stick to procedures? Well, what do you expect from a girl you met in your bathtub? <laughs> Bubbles. <laughs> What's doing? Stopping. What for? I want to pay the Comte de Chevalier a visit. I'll catch you at the airport. Take a cab. <laughs> you serious? Yeah, sure I'm serious. Nice guy. Mr. Sinclair, my wife told me so much about you. Actually, there's not that much to tell. On contrary, she's a great admirer of yours. And she's told me all about your most famous cases. <laughs> well, that couldn't have taken her very long. And she also told me you were very modest. She told me you were very short. I need to talk to her. Some questions I'd like to ask. Well, I'm afraid she's out at the moment. Ah, oh, it's too bad. When will she be back? I'm afraid she didn't tell me. Any idea where she might be? No, thank you. None whatsoever. It's mm. very 
mysterious. Well, you could describe my wife that way. <laughs> but I really do need to talk to her. Why don't I just have her call you when she gets back? Yeah. Why don't you do that? Needs to go. Heats up February. You're a devil in disguise, is what you are. Big Brother is back. What? Oh my God! Three nights a week. <laughs> Couldn't there have been any more drama? Oh yeah. Big Brother season premiere tomorrow on Global. Entertainment Tonight and Entertainment Tonight Canada, Canada's most watched entertainment news. Weeknights on Global. Want to win? Offer is free. We'd like to give you any of these Ultramatic electric adjustable beds absolutely free. It's worth the call. You have nothing to lose. And you just might win. To win Ultramatic bed free, call for this free color catalog and enter our adjustable bed sweepstakes. That's all it takes. So if you've ever had a bad night's sleep or woke up sore, stiff with back, neck, or shoulder pains, Here's your opportunity to get yours free. Call now for this free color catalog on the adjustable bed that costs 50% less than many quality flat beds. With free information on how to get your Ultramatic electric adjustable bed now, absolutely free. But remember, this is a limited time offer. So if you want your chance to win, don't wait. Call right now. Freddy's are supposed to be square. Have any of these diamond shapes gone out? Um. New Diamond Shreddy cereal. Same 100% whole grain wheat in a delicious diamond shape. This is an important message for men and women ages 40 to 75. Please use the toll-free number to respond. The cost of a funeral in Canada today can be more than $10,000. Yet the Canada Pension Plan pays a maximum death benefit of just $2,500, and only if you qualify. Without adequate life insurance, your family will have to pay for funeral costs and other final expenses out of their own pocket. If you agree that's too big a burden to place on your loved ones, call now for free information about Guaranteed Life Plus. This Guaranteed Acceptance Whole Life Plan costs as little as $5 a week. You cannot be turned down regardless of health. Rates never increase, and you're protected for life. In case of accidental death, your beneficiary receives five times your coverage tax-free. If you'd rather leave your loved ones with fond memories, not bills and debts, call now for free information. You can't be turned down. Call toll-free 1-800-463-1463 for your free information kit. That's 1-800-463-1463. Call now. So you're Gabriel Germont, the famous reporter. Obviously. You must be a better journalist than your detective. Don't make snap judgments, Miss Beaumont. What do you want? Well, you know what I want. The jewels? That's funny, because we want the same thing. Don't worry, buddy. JJ, let's go. Whoa, hang on a minute, Pete. We're not the only plane on the runway. Look, frankly, I don't give a damn. Just get us out of here. 45 minutes is the best oh, I can do. Damn it. All right, then 45 minutes it'll have to be. And try and get Gabrielle online, will you? And JJ, please try and change that slot time. OK, so what have you got? Well, two of the jewelers qualified to make the fakes live around Nice. Oh, that's good. And Helene faxed addresses on the phone calls I traced. Mm -hmm. So what's this guy like? Who? The Count. All right, nothing special. No? 
You think she married him for his moolah? Yeah, well, it kind of looked that way to me. Yeah, just like a dame, huh? Yeah. Peter, Gabriel's not online. Well, then keep trying, will you, JJ? Okay. Hey, Gabby's a big girl. She can take care of herself. Yeah, I guess she can. Can you reach into my pocket? I don't know. What for? Oh. There's a lipstick tube in there. Oh. All right, that's all you can think about. I'm sure your makeup looks fine. It's a knife. Oh. Let's go. Let's go. I... Careful. His name's Goddard. Vicious. Everything all right, Pete? Oh, yeah, everything's fine. What's on your mind, Pete? I was just thinking. When we get to Nice, we each ought to take one of these addresses. There's also another one I'd like to try. I got a hunch. Hmm. Nice house. It's been in the family for years. Mind if I look around? As you wish. I'll go get dressed. Pity. Sure about your hunches. You 
decided what you're going to wear. Mm -hmm. I think I'll start with these. Do you mind if I watch? Please do. Say, Mademoiselle Beaumont, your taste in clothes is every bit as good as your taste in paintings. I thought you said you wanted to watch. as soon as we land. Can you fix it for me? Sure. Let's see if I can get a hold of Gabby. I think we have a very bright future ahead of us. <laughs> With your gymnastics and my knowledge, we'll go a very long way. You used to tell me that. Nikki, my darling, I'm so glad to see you. I doubt that very much. They do best every day on Lone Star Cinema. It pays to be prepared, especially when it comes to your credit. So before you make a big purchase, log on to transunion.ca and get your credit report and credit score. You could get better rates and save hundreds, even thousands. Now, isn't that a bright idea? Hi, Billy Mays here for Mighty Putty. The easy way to fix, fill, and seal virtually anything fast and make it last. Mighty Putty is not a glue, but a super-powered epoxy that you can mold to any shape and apply directly to most any surface for an everlasting bond. Ordinary epoxies are a mixing mess. With Mighty Putty, you just cut like dough, simply knead to activate, apply, and let dry. It has the muscle to support up to 350 pounds, rebuild the damaged tool to work like new, or make car repairs and save money. Drills, bolts, and screws can ruin your project. With Mighty Putty, you just cut, activate, and apply. Here's something you can't do with glue. Mighty Putty seals leaks instantly. Use it on pipes and faucets for a permanent seal. As you need, it activates, turning from green to white to show it's ready to hold on tight. It has the strength to pull this fully loaded 80,000 pound tractor trailer. Now that's the power of Mighty Putty. Whether it's towel to wood, 
metal to glass. Any job, big or small, Mighty Putty repairs them all. Fill cracks in ceilings, walls, and floors. Mold it to furniture, sand and paint for a seamless repair. And it's ideal for all your crafting projects. There's nothing you can't do with Mighty Putty. Call now and we'll send you two powerful sticks of Mighty Putty for only $29.95. But through this exclusive TV offer, we'll double it and send you two more sticks free. Mighty Putty will pay for itself the very first time. But I'm not done yet. Call right now and I'll triple the offer. And send you six sticks of Mighty Putty for the same low price of $29.95. Order now. Call the number on your screen to get in on this powerful Mighty Putty triple offer. Don't miss out. Pick up the phone and call now. Why didn't you tell me you were coming? I'm sorry, I didn't have the time, Papa. I was too busy being chased by gangsters and the police. What are you talking about? You know exactly what I'm talking about. You seem upset. You haven't seen anything yet. Why did you do it? Um, perhaps uh, we'd better go and uh, talk somewhere else. Don't worry about her. Just tell me why. Why? Because it was irresistible, my darling. That's why. But you promised. I give you everything you need. Everything except my independence. I don't want to be supported by you. So you're still one of the most famous jewel collections in the whole world? Ah, you should have seen it. You would have loved it. I would have hated it. That's because you've become soft since you married into money. No. That's because I've become smart since I got away from you. Nonsense. Did you know about these little cannibals? Oh, Papa, please stop it. Do you realize what you've done? Yes. I just don't see better things for 24 hours. Nothing wrong with that. What about that guy, Godard? Godard, don't worry. I'll make a deal with him. You don't make deals with this kind. Besides, he's not the only one after you. Remember Peter Sinclair? Sinclair? The Matisse paintings. How could I forget him? I spent two years in jail because of him. Does he still belong to Scotland Yard? You've got to get the jewels back before anybody gets hurt. Especially you. I'm afraid I don't have them with me. I hate to interrupt, but uh, I think we've got a problem on our hands. Suzanne is coming in on the four o'clock flight from Washington. Great, I'm proud of me to myself. Have the car sent around. Right away. I've got Peter on line one. Peter! Panic call from Inspector Maitay. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. I'm running out of time. Wants to know how you're doing. What did you tell him? Oh, I told him you had a whole 12 hours left. <laughs> Thanks. Fred, I haven't found them yet, but I'm sure we're getting closer. Good. That's praise indeed. You think Nikki and Gabriel are all right? Well, if they're together, I'd be more concerned about their enemies. Sir? Now, Truffaut, the game is over. You wouldn't want anything to happen to your beautiful daughter, would you? Well, surely we can come to an arrangement. Papa, now it's not the time for negotiating. You should listen to her. Is it true what they say? Blondes are more fun. Where are the jewels? I want what's mine. Now. Stop! You know I'm that serious. All right. You want the jewels? I'll give you the jewels. Good. Bring them to me. They are not here. I'll take you to them. I have them safe in my house in Nice.
I don't understand. It should be there. I know I put it there. We've looked everywhere. I'm afraid his memory lapse is going to cost you dearly. Call Raymond. He knows what to do. Wait! Someone's coming. This is our chance. What? Go for it? They'll never know what hit them. <laughs> I like it. Can we try it again? Ah, oh, stone. Stone? Stone. The boss says to get the daughter. Come with me. What the hell? Open your wine here. You've got two minutes before your daughter gets it, and you'll be next. Where are the jewels? Sinclair must have found them. Sinclair! Who the hell is Sinclair? Allow me to introduce myself. Stop it! Your boss is history. Who has he said? After you, Monsieur Godard. I imagine that this is one of the little pieces that you were looking for. Where did you get that? Old habits die hard, eh, Monsieur Truffaut? Please do the honors. Yes? Pete, everything okay? Very okay. Did you find the girls? Oh, I'd say they found me. Is everything under control? Under control? Yeah. I'd say everything's under control. In a strange way, it was a real pleasure. I hope they show a little leniency in the sentencing. It didn't mean any harm. I just could not resist the temptation. <laughs> <laughs> and now he knows time have changed. Yeah, you mean the same? Well, I wouldn't worry about your father, Nicky. <clears throat> I struck a deal with the judge this morning. He's going to allow him to do some community work with the youngsters. Oh, great. Teach those kids every trick he knows. Well, those kids are actually from the police academy. It'll be the best experience they can get. <laughs> At least he's a good teacher. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll let uh, you enjoy your bubbly. I'd better be off. Suzanne doesn't like to be kept waiting. Link out. I wonder where she get that from. Her mother. I'm sorry I lost my temper. I know you were only trying to be helpful. That's all right. It's nice to know the fireworks are still there. <laughs> sure, I'm sorry, but some late in the car is waiting downstairs. Oh. We have to go. I need to get my things. Goodbye. Goodbye, Nikki. <laughs> And you said he wasn't good-looking? Hey, Peter. Why didn't you tell us how sexy he looks? Sexy? You call that sexy? Anyway, Gabrielle, I have a bone to pick with you. A small matter of procedure. A bone? Yes, it is better to have loved and lost than 
never to have loved at all. At least you always have the memories.